Hello, my name is Jason Kunst. I'm a technical marketing engineer for Identity Services Engine. This presentation is focused around easy and quick setup for guest BYOD and secure access. Today I will be bringing you through our new wireless setup tool in ICE 2.2 by showing you guest access management, focusing on setting up a self-registration guest portal in about five minutes. The wireless setup wizard allows you to quickly configure your wireless flows in a matter of minutes. The wireless setup flows in ICE 2.2 allow you to get ICE and a wireless controller up and running quickly with any necessary configuration along with basic customization and settings needing for 802.1x secure access guest and BYOD use cases. For guest access we have the capability of creating the flows, the following flows. Hotspot for a simple portal such as a coffee shop with an acceptable use policy. Self-registration, allowing, which allows users to create their own accounts, and sponsored, which gives you better control of who can access your network by requiring someone to create those credentials before they're able to be granted. Today we'll be going through the, using the tool to set up the self-registration flow to create their own accounts and get simple guest access. Now let's get into using the tool. Here we start with the ICE administrative and UI. In the upper right of the page, there's a, new, there's a new setup option called Wireless Setup. Click on that and it logs into our Easy Wireless Setup tool. Here you'll see a few different options. Today we're working with Guest Access, so we'll click on the Guest Access section and then click on Self-Registration Setup. We'll enter our wireless controller IP address, username, and password in order to f for the tool to go ahead and connect to the controller and configure it, and also a shared secret, which is going to be used for radius communication between the wireless LAN controller and Identity Services Engine. You see we are, our wireless controller is added. Next, we'll commit that change. Here it's looking for a wireless network name. This would be the network that a guest connects to when they're going to go ahead and do self-registration. I'm just going to call it self-reg. Next, you want to choose the interface on your wireless controller. This needs to be pre-configured. Here I have, a guest I have a guest access VLAN already set up. You can also choose how long you want the account to be good for and where you want to send a user after they successfully log in. I'll go ahead and click Add. Now you see the wireless LAN is ready to go. Here I'll commit those changes. Next you get presented with a self-registration portal customization option. Here you can click in there and edit. You can drag fields in there that you want to use. You can upload your logo a banner, or even, change, or even change the background. For self-registration, you can also notify the user via text messaging or email notification. In this, in this scenario, I'm just going to show you setting it up for on-screen on -screen notifications. The tool can also change colors and font, font information as well. After you're done cu customizing your, your initial page, you can go through and look at your other pages as well, such as a registration page, where you can add in you can you can add in other page content, such as a phone number, perhaps if you require it, or for them to enter a person being visited for for auditing capabilities. After you're done customizing your complete portal, you can go ahead and commit those changes. Now that everything's set up and ready to go, you can, you can even do a test portal, uh, click on the test portal URL here. You click on that, you can go ahead and try everything out just like you would on a real device. If you didn't have perhaps a real device ready to go to try the, the flow, 
then you can go ahead and do that here. You can click on don't have an account, register for an account, and sign in. It's a simulation of the flow that a user would go through. I'm going to go ahead and click Next. On the summary page, you'll see everything that was done. A wireless controller was set up, a self-reg wireless LAN, and also the portal. I'll click Go Live, and what that will do now is go ahead and enable the, wi the wireless LAN on our, our controller. And that's it to the tool. You're done. Several minutes later, you have a portal ready to go. Next, we'll go ahead and look into the wireless controller and the identity, identity services engine configuration after, after we go through a quick demonstration of a real client. So now I'll go through with a real client and con connect to the network. I, launch, I have a little iPod here. <clears throat> I'll turn the Wi-Fi on. And it'll connect to the self-reg network, something I connected to um, before. Go ahead and launch my browser and try to get to a site such as cisco.com. The device is then redirected to the self-registration portal. Here, if a user already had credentials, they could go ahead and log in. But since we don't have any credentials, I'll click on don't have an account. Here I can enter some basic information. for my account. Like I stated before, we're only going to use on-screen notifications, uh, email and SMS notifications as well as are an option. So an account was created. I can go ahead and see the, that information and take it down here. If an email or S SMS was done, then I can go ahead and, and uh, get that as well for, for later use. I'll go ahead and click Sign On. And I'll go ahead and accept the acceptable use policy. And now I have internet access. The user can go ahead and try to get to the originating URL. And that's all there is to it. Now I can go back over to ICE. And we can look at what was done on ICE, any of the radius live logs, and then take a look at the controller as well. Now we can go back to ICE and look what happened to the client when it came through and hit the different authorization rules and profiles. Go up to Operation Radius Live Logs. You can see our um, last our our information in the last five minutes, the last 10 minutes here. See, when I first came in with a device, I came in as wireless um, Mac auth bypass, so I only know the Mac address. What happens if we only, only know the Mac address is we're redirected to the self-registration portal. After we go into the self-registration portal, and we register for an account, and then uh, we are automatically signed in with those account credentials. I came back in as the user Jay Kunz that was automatically created for me. And you see here that now uh, I, get a, I get an authorization policy for permit access for the guests. Next, we can go ahead and look at work centers, a guest access the in the authorization policy that was created from that you see here the tool the WS wireless setup created a self-registration redirect policy so using wireless Mac auth bypass coming in with a self-reg SSID and then after the user gets a change of authorization it comes back in for guest access policy with permit access Just simply sending an access except down to the wireless controller. Next, we can go over the work centers, guest access, and we can look at the policy elements that were created for that authorization rule under results, authorization profiles. And you see here that we created a, a, a self-registration portal profile that redirected us to 
our self-registration portal. And that was created here by the wireless setup tool. Next, we go back into guest access and we can look at we can look at our, our network devices. Here you can see a network access device was created. This is our wireless LAN controller IP. We can go we can go back into Work Center's guest access portal con components and see that a self-registration portal was made by the tool as well. That self-registration you can take that self-registration portal and tweak it and make other changes to it um, after you went through the wizard to more correctly suit your customer needs. And that's pretty much it on the, the ICE side. Now we can go over to the controller. You can go under WLANs and notice there's a self-reg WLAN setup. The security is using MAC filtering, which is MAC auth bypass. The AAA servers are set up for our ICE IP address. Also, the advanced tab, we have, uh, we have the necessary, necessary settings, allow AAA override, NAC state, radius NAC, as well configured um, to work with uh, the, the identity services engine. Next, we'll go over to, to security. Radius authentication, you can see the ICE server is set up there, also under accounting. And there's an access control list configured uh, for, your, for your web auth redirect. And that's it. That's all there is to it. We went through our wireless setup tool. In a, in a matter of minutes, we got a portal up and running. Then we showed you a client connecting. So easy, so simple. Thank you very much for watching this. Have a nice day.